Good morning guys, welcome back to a brand new day. We are out and about very early. It's about half seven in the morning and I don't know how, but we're all ready to go. And we've left our condo and we're right now in BGC and it's only 7.30 in the morning. Super cool, which is obviously a huge bonus. Completely quiet, nothing's really open yet. Uh, so it's just nice having a little stroll around. But in today's video, we wanted to bring you along for a brunch because, ah, uh, yeah. Well, it's there, that's not a cut through. That's actually longer, but if you wanted to. <laughs> Generally a shortcut makes things shorter. This is what I would call a long cut. Oh, it's a big cat there, that's massive. Oh, good morning, cat. <laughs> Anyways, I was saying, we wanted to bring you guys along for a little brunch spot. Uh, actually, I want to say breakfast. This is nowhere near lunch. This is definitely a breakfast video. Uh... So we are headed to Oro Cafe because when we were there the other day, I noticed that they had a really, really interesting brunch menu. I've never seen brunch like this. It's almost, I don't know, it sounds like this kind of Filipino fusion uh, menu. So there's some sort of more traditional options like Filipino foods, but with like unusual twists that sometimes involve chocolate and pastries and stuff like that. So I'm really excited to show you the menu because I saw it and I was like, oh, we have to try that. It's not your regular brunch spot, so we're going to give it a full review today. Hello, how are you? Good to see you. Nice, how are you doing? Hello. How are you? Oh, <laughs> we have a baby now. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I've got any of that on camera, but that's my Bumping friend, into Annika. old friends, yeah. yeah we nice. first met her in Canagan. Yeah, crazy. Crazy. Anyways, anyway. let's go for breakfast. All right, let's go this way. read some of the things out that I'm thinking of going for. So there is a chicken fettuccino benedict. So marinated chicken poached egg hollandaise on a croissant roll. So it's got, it's like a classic benedict with the chicken fettuccino, so like the Filipino twist there, on a croissant roll. So it's got the like pastry twist. This is what I was trying to tell you guys. Everything's kind of a little bit different. There's also ube waffle with mango, tablea syrup, toasted coconut milk. It just sounds really cool. And there's a whole cabinet of like pastries and stuff as well inside. We were sat inside, but it's so cold in there and it's only early still. So it's kind of a nice temperature to sit outside. So we thought for once we'd enjoy sitting outside in Manila and not complaining about the, how hot it is. Um, so yeah, we transferred it outside and it's just really nice sitting here on these comfy little outdoor chairs, nice views of the city. Um, so yeah, we're gonna order some stuff and we'll show you guys when it gets in. George has called me over. Coda has stolen a, a, a car. Mummy, show Baby, mummy. what's happened? Show Show mummy. The car. Show mummy. They've been very generous, but he, he won't come out. Yes, thank you. Um, thank you. Daddy. Daddy. Say my. Daddy. Thank you. I think coming out at 7.30 in the morning could be the new thing. It's like I'm not like I'm not even warm. There's a nice breeze coming through. He's wearing a shirt. I'm wearing a shirt for some weird reason. <laughs> no idea why. But yeah, I thought I'd dress up this morning for breakfast. No, it's just it's just all I had left. <laughs> just had an interesting parenting moment there. We were letting Coda run around out here, which is so nice because this is an area where kind of kids can run around, people walk dogs and stuff. And there was this tiny kid with like a car that's like a ride-on car. You sit in it, and it's a little bit too small for Coda but he was trying to climb in and I said to the lady I was like oh is it okay do you mind she's like no no go ahead go ahead so Coda goes around a couple of times in the car and then when it's time to bring him out because he'd overstayed his welcome in the car he uh, started screaming at me which was nice um, and he did not want to exit the vehicle shall we say so I did what a good dad would do take charge of the situation and say please come and help well I, I came over because I thought you wanted me to come and film it I came over like all happy and smiling and you were like, no, no, I'd tried out. to pull him out the car like three times. You just pull him out. No, but I tried. You couldn't. And he, he was doing that with his legs. <laughs> so the car was coming up. Oh, wow. It was already a little bit broken. There was like tape around it. So I'm thinking oh, I'm gonna have to go and buy like this kid a new car. The kid's going, uh, uh, like pointing at his car. It's one of those things, George. I just came over and picked him up and he came with me straight away. I know, yeah, you make it look easy. It was, it was easy. <laughs> you okay, high five. Good boy. Yeah, we are definitely getting to a point now where 
we um, have a two-year-old on the way. I think we have a two-year-old a little bit early. Yes. That's how it feels. Yes. Hi. Hello. Thank you. Oh, wow. You're a good cool. on Thank you so much. You're welcome. Oh, very nice. Straight cheese omelette and Thank it's got you. lavender honey and chocolate sourdough with it. I'm thinking this is an so underrated place for brunch. It's cool. Like, I didn't think, I've only ever had a chocolate drink from there. Yeah, like this looks, is that chocolate on it? Uh, probably. I think that's chocolate on the omelette. Like cacao nibs. Yeah. Mmm, that is so fresh, wow. Is that like chocolate yeah, bread? Yeah, sourdough, that is incredible. Chocolate sourdough. It's quite chocolatey, it's not sweet though, it's got the bitterness of like a dark chocolate. You like it? No. You're welcome. Is this thing you to everything? Is it nice? Now, I don't know how well that's going to go with a great cheese omelette, but let's try it. That's what we're here for. Can I have some cutlery please? Nice, nice omelette. Can't taste the goat's cheese yet. Where's the goat's cheese out? Hmm. <laughs> oh, there you go. Okay, not much goat's cheese. I would have liked a little bit more, but it's a nice omelette. I would have liked about ten times more. Yeah, I do like cheese. Goat's cheese, egg, and chocolate. For some reason, work wow. together. Nice. It's really good. Thank you very Chicken much. Perfect. Thank, thank you. Thank you. That looks great. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Wow, that looks amazing. Wow. How glazed it is. This is the chicken tocino. Tocino, isn't it? He said tocino. Oh, did he? So I think it's tocino. Oh, I think I've been saying it wrong. I think life. I said tocino oh. as well. Oops, sorry, tocino. Everyone. Chicken tocino. Oh, it smells good. <laughs> Benedict on, what is it on? Croissant roll. On a croissant roll. Wow. Oh. We've also got the ube pancakes with mango. Waffles, George. <laughs> oh yeah, the ube waffles with Ready? mango. Wow. This is tablea syrup. Nice, yum yum. You know if he likes it, if he goes in for more, let's see. On it, on it. Is there water on it? It's yeah. actually chocolate syrup. You try it. Big bite. He's excited by it. Big bite. Oh, yum. yum. <laughs> I love it when he takes bites of things and his eyes roll back. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, gonna try this chicken tocino with eggs benedict. So we've got some eggs, poached eggs, some hollandaise sauce, and this croissant roll. What a combination. This is kind of gonna be kind of sweet and savory. Tocino is kind of, oh, it looks good. It's kind of known to be sweet. Mmm, mmm, yeah. Oh, that's really interesting. It is good. It's definitely a twist on this, isn't it? Definitely a twist, like very sweet. Like I would like a little bit of, is there salt? Like a little bit of sea salt on this would be perfect to balance it out. But the flavors are really good. But Sino's got full of flavor. The croissant roll is really, really nice. The hollandaise is balanced nicely. Speaking of the hollandaise, the Christmas trees are starting to pop up around BGC. Interesting. The croissant roll is actually not that sweet. I think they've done that on purpose. That's the balance in it. I was eating it on its own, I was like, ah, okay. There's definitely a twist on like the Filipino breakfast with the chicken tocino. We've had pork tocino, we've had it in hotels, we've had it all around. Like you see it a lot in the Philippines. Time to try the waffle. Coda's eaten half of it already. So I will eat your leftovers. He also thinks there's a lizard over there and there's a cat over here. Neither are true, but we're going with it. So we've got mango cream, mango cream, not mango cream. It might be mango cream, I don't think it is. And then the tablea syrup. Very good. We'll get down later, baby. You have to finish eating. Do you want some more waffle? The purple in this waffle is such a great colour. It's really dark, like a deep, intense purple. Matches my nails. And the ube flavour isn't particularly strong, but it's just really nice waffle. Crispy on the outside, kind of softer in the middle. Goes really well with the cream and the mango. This is good. Cream. An amazing like flower art with the the mango as well. Very clever. How's that? Mm. This is what I've been waiting for. We saw it on the counter. Look at the soft oh, pastry inside. It's so soft and the chocolate's falling out. It's so soft. Oh my god. Hang and the on. chocolate's not too sweet at all. That's why I like this. Look at this. Oh no. Move your eyes away. Oh no. If you can. Look at, oh no, the chocolate's dripping everywhere. Look at this, man. 
Okay, I need to eat over a plate. Sorry. Uh oh. Uh, it's all going a bit wrong. Uh oh. Yeah, uh oh. There's chocolate everywhere, chocolate powder. Wow. Okay, that is not something you eat on a first date. No. <laughs> we're 10 years in, so we're mm. good. Daddy, um, wow. daddy, um. Mmm. Um, um. Yeah, it's daddy's arm. Um. Would you like some more waffle? That is so good. Like Lucy said, it's actually not overly sweet and the chocolate still has that. It's almost like a dark chocolate, mm. but like I would say like a 60%. Mm. Really, really nice. Oh, thanks, Heather. Chocolate I have, I have chocolate everywhere. Look. Oh, really? Yeah, we're just getting covered here. Oh, my goodness. The three of us are just covered in chocolate and cream. Not what I expected this morning, but very um, delicious experience. Yeah, that's really good. Normally you get like a sweet filling in a croissant, oh, but it's nice it not being too sweet. I need to like, I need help. I need help here. Am I? Is this all mine? Mm. Is it really? Do you want some? Mm -mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then here we've got a pan, uh, pan pasal, chocolate flavoured, with a roasted white chocolate Ooh. cashew butter cream. Mm. Right, let's give this a go. Mm. Very fluffy. Yeah. Would you like some mango on your fork? That is. That is. Oh, daddy's. Is it daddy's? <laughs> I love how he closes his eyes. I know, it's amazing. You have it. Can you do it? Daddy, daddy. This cashew daddy. butter is amazing. It's a slight, subtle like, hint of the white chocolate. Daddy. And it's very creamy. Okay, let me try some of this. Oh, it does look super soft. I love panda sour anyway. Cashew butter. Panda chocolate. Oh, with a tea, yeah. Make sure you get the cashew butter. Mm. Mm. I have to say, the bread and cakes in the Philippines are so good. Like, I feel like we've eaten them all this time. They know what they're doing here. The bake shops that you find around everywhere, especially in the provinces, like you will just be driving down some quiet road with nothing going on trees either side of you and then you'll come across a bake shop with like delicious bread like this for maybe I don't know 20 pesos or something five, five pesos yeah five pesos the other day of course here in BGC this was I think it was 900 pesos for <laughs> one panda salad 90. 90 oh yeah compared to five though that's crazy uh -oh. so true yeah coming from Europe we expect to pay a couple of pounds for a pastry or a cake or a bread or something so 90 pesos still to us, kind of reasonable, kind of what we expect. But yeah, like Lucy said, comparing that to five in the province, five up to 90, huge difference, obviously. And that's the way it goes in cities and things like that. Supply and demand and everything. So I must say, enjoyable, very enjoyable meal. Kind of, what's the word? A, there's a swear word in mind, a mind, a play on your mind. There's another word beginning with F after mind, because it's probably the most- Mind luck. My, it rhymes with mind luck, yeah, because it's probably the most unique and different Filipino breakfast that we've ever had. But the, like the Filipino flavours were there. But yeah, it's not the usual tastes that you're used to kind of putting together, but very enjoyable experience. I'd highly recommend coming here for like, if you're fancying a sweet treat and you want like one of their chocolate drinks, which are amazing, or some of their pastries, really, really, really good. Definitely try and try some of that sourdough as well. That was one of my highlights, chocolate sourdough. That was very cool. Um, but yeah. Very enjoyable. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Really? Not just yet. But breakfast would not be complete without one thing that you may have noticed we what are do missing. We what do we need, Claire? What do we, what do we need? What does Daddy drink? Coffee. Coffee, yeah. So on our way back to the car, we're going to pick up a little coffee. <coughs> not sure where from yet. We're tempted to try. Um, there's a new coffee shop just down the road here. We're tempted to try. But it is that risk. Like, if we just get one coffee out a day, it is that risk that we want to really love it. It's not really that big of a deal, honey. It's not really a risk. It is, it is a big deal to me. Mm. Super quiet high street. It's 9am now. No one about really on the high street. Very, very quiet. Usually we come out in here in the evenings and it's very busy, loads of people. Definitely getting warmer now though. I've noticed. Oh, I definitely. So there's a new coffee. It must be the next The there. next one, okay. Okay, new coffee shop on the high street we're gonna try like looks really nice branding was cool there got a nice like Lamazoka machine in there so we're gonna check it out have a little taste
New coffee shop. Ooh, pretty good. Mm, yeah, nice, nice, nice. Okay, let's try the flat white. Mm. Wow. Very different. Very, very different taste. That's some good coffee. Thanks so much for spending the morning with us, guys. We'll see you in the next vlog. Oh,